Jerry. Hi, Bonnie. Where's Jerry? Oh, she's ready and waiting for Patrick. Whoever said women took longer to dress than men? I do, because I'm an expert. Patrick won't make her late. He'd rather miss dinner than miss her. Mm. Hello, you guys. Hey, hey. So how does the job fight go today, General? Oh, pretty good. We checked into the housekeeping department, and uh, there was an opening. Well, Hillary and I had to flip a coin for it. Well, who got the job? Okay, Dad. I am still among the unemployed. Why don't you check back at the hospital in about a week? Unless you don't mind his night job here at the club, our hat set girl should quit. Mind? I'd adore it. The salaries are very good, but the tips are good when the business is good. Oh, I don't have to be sold. Well, would you like me to come in for an interview? Oh, no, any friend of Cindy Strike is a Can I get a hug? Uh, 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 for what? Because uh, I'm standing here. <laughs> oh, I feel like hugging everybody today. <laughs> Poor child. Such a wonderful place. Now you do. I thought you didn't have anything to wear here. Oh, well, we just threw this together. Kate's not huh? exaggerating. Mm. <laughs> Hi, honey. Oh, hello. How you doing? Fine. Good. Is there anything I can do to help? Yeah, why don't you fix the mic for Tara? She's not here yet. Okay. <laughs> Now let's hear it from you, Sean. Sure. Mm -mm. No, no, no. I mean, your idea. Your idea that's going to change our life. <laughs> All right. I can't wait. I find myself in a unique position of only a dining line. Wait, stop right there. I know what you're going to say. You want Monica and me to invest in the diamond mine, and if we have any money left over, you've got a couple of shares in the Brooklyn Bridge that Alan, you might just... Alan, Alan. No, 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 no. What about the quarter mine? Now it's in the general vicinity of my own. Well, yes, it's no secret where the quarter main mine is. It's often no secret that it's worthless. Why, for diamonds? No diamonds. What about the kiss of Oh, well, that's another story, but that would take an awful lot to make that... Productive again. I mean, it would take a certain formula and the right environmental conditions. What are you cooking up, darling? Yes, what? Why, diamonds, of course. What else? Now, I know that the Cassidine line is right next to mine, and I have a feeling where there is one ice princess, there should be another. <laughs> Anna. Well, Hi. Good to see you. Yeah. It's been a long day. You look like you're a little worn out, huh? Well, this may help pick you up. Thank you. To my beautiful police chief, Mayor Daggett Better. I have something to report, too. I'm the president. Well, sort of. Jay got a tip where Lucy Co might be. He took off. I'm sure he went after him. I'm trying to track him down now. You didn't see what he was saying? No. I also have a little information on our friend Jonathan. In the WRC. There's a definite connection between our man Jonathan and Angus Mackay. Mm -hmm. Angus is dead. Well, it's final. Any hopes for the reopening tonight of the county airport were dashed just a few moments ago when the airport spokesman revealed that the airport will be closed until tomorrow morning. Well, that does it. We're stuck here for the night. about it, I suppose. We can't do anything about it. There's no place to go. Well, actually, I don't really mind. Well, I'm grateful for having another night of freedom. I can't blame you, Lucy, for wanting to put off the inevitable. It's not going to be easy back at Port Charles. I know. Jumping bail is a very serious crime. Well, it's just one more thing I have to account for, isn't it? Are you prepared for it? I'm ready to meet the consequences of jumping bail, if that's what you mean. Yeah, it's not going to be easy. Break the ground rules. Pay the price. I know that. Don't worry about me, okay? Something tells me that we'll be able to follow the leads from Jonathan's past right up to Angus's death. I want to help you on this, Anna. Who did? Well, evidently, you're in the minority. What do you mean? 
Everyone who is involved with Anders are satisfied that he's just a suicide. Well, he took poison. That's the suicide a... is his own making, Frisco. Well, what's the proof? Eyewitnesses. They say they heard him say he wasn't poisoned by anyone or forced to take the poison. And I've been instructed to let the matter rest. Wait a minute. Who, who has the authority to give you orders? This is your case. Thank you. I know my right. Well, I don't get it. You heard. What I'm hearing is that you're not telling me everything. I don't owe you any explanation, Frisco. You have the orders. The case is to be dismissed. The matter dropped. Anna, listen. The mob investigation is not over. Not with the new evidence we have on this guy. Jonathan. You're wrong. The mob investigation is over. Nothing is going to stop me from marrying Duke Lavery now. Anything you want? Oh, this is your decision as well as mine. Where would you like Angus to be buried? I like your idea. No, I am will be fine. I don't like having to burden you with the burial, but, well, I have no choice. I'll go to Lolio. I'll bury Angus. And then I'm bringing Aunt Janet back with me to Port Charles. And what about the convent? I'm taking the leave. He's a big boy. He can take care of himself. But all right. he has to do is pick up the phone and try to call me. Well, maybe he did. Maybe he tried to call you. Maybe the line was busy. There could be a lot of reasons why you haven't heard from him. He's always doing this. He's always putting everybody else's welfare before his own. Which is one of the reasons you love him. It is. It's right. true. I know. It's just that I... I don't have to like it when it hits so close to home, do I? <laughs> well, I know you're upset, but look at the bright side. At least Patrick and Terry, you think? They are. How do you know? Patrick left this note at the Brownstone. Mm -hmm. Says they're going to be out of town till this whole mess is over. But where? I don't know. The important thing is, though, is that they're safe. I would like to see anyone try to hurt them now. See, now there's good news, and that must be a relief. It is a relief. It's a big relief for Terry and Patrick, but it is not going to help as far as Jake is concerned. Couldn't stop this. Pull yourself together. I'm trying to, Ruby. I really am. I'm not going to stop worrying until I know he is all right. Well, at least we made it. You understand, of course, if I don't get too excited. 15 A and B. This is it. Take the window seat. Okay. You want to make sure that I don't escape and run down the aisle? Don't be flipped, Lucy. I'm not in the mood. Because I haven't called Bobby yet. All right. You don't have to snap. I just asked you a simple question. Maybe we'll be delayed a couple of minutes. I can sneak out. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Tri-State Airlines, flight number 252. Non-stop service to New York City. Captain McMahon informs me we're cleared for takeoff and we will be departing in a few minutes. Thank you for flying. Tri-State Airlines. Um, would you rather have the window seat? I'm fine. No, honestly, I don't need it, and obviously I'm not Lucy. going anywhere. Lucy, and... I'm fine. Uh, what's going to happen? 
have when we get back to Port Charles. All this will be over with. No, I, I mean, can I at least go home? No. Why not? You see, you jump bail. You don't get to go home for that. When we land in New York, we're going to call Frisco. He'll meet us at the Port Charles Airport. And he'll take you directly to jail. 